Welcome back guys, um, so this is a new video, a uh, remake of an old one, older video that I did, which is the tutorial for the Seekers, I guess. I wrote Aerial Bots just because I thought they did pretty much the same thing, but, you know, people corrected me, so that's fine. Um, yeah, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to load this. This is um, the new version of the oh it's kind of oh okay that's a bit weird kind of wobbly but it does fly pretty well like a you know like a usual plane doesn't fly funny or anything um so i'm gonna go land over here and transform in midair just so that i have time to like adjust before i hit the ground um so yeah all right okay I keep forgetting how the transformation works you gotta press r first and then f But here you go. So this is the new one. Uh, I I think that the design is more similar to the Blitzwing from the Bumblebee movie. Um, but I really like this secret design, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this one. Um, as you can see, it won't well, actually. It doesn't do very well on terrain that isn't completely flat, but it it can walk pretty well. It's quite stable too, so that's one other thing I'm happy about. Um, and of course, it can change back into a jet. Every time it does, though, it always flips upside down, so be wary of that. But other than that, it's, this is a pretty good pretty good build. Um, sometimes arms on the back get stuck here, so you just wiggle the feet. Press, uh, pressing Q and E, those are the controls. The controls are basically the same as the Bumblebee one. I just changed the walking controls. Because the walking controls for the Bumblebee are shift and control. But I need shift and control for throttle on the plane version. So I need to use Q and E for the walking. But other than that, um, I think we should just... Oh, jeez. We should uh, get right into the actual build. Okay, so now I'm here in uh, build mode. Let's uh, get started. I think I'll start back like the center right there so we'll just do landing gear which way is it facing forwards okay this probably isn't lined up at all I, I don't really care actually now that I think about it you could probably make a fleet of these like a bunch of them um, and actually make the seekers like have them all fly around that'd be cool actually that's, that sounds really fun Okay, let's check the motor configuration, which is... Oh, gotta really get in there. This one is F and backspace. And this one is backspace and F all the way around. You know, pause the video to look at the angles and stuff. Uh, did I copy that one? So which one is that? <laughs> Whoops. Let's copy this one put it on the right one. Oh, I don't have the thing on. There. Copy. Paste. Okay. And then I believe it's a one block. Are those ballast? Those are ballast, right? Yeah. Okay. So two ballast for the feed, of course. And we'll switch the density to two. And then wedges are going to be... Or wedge one by twos. I'm gonna put them right here. These become the feet. Um, yeah, pretty cool. We have here. I forget. I actually kind of forget how this works because it's so compact with the legs. I gotta like get in here. Okay, there's. Where's that even attached? Maybe I should have started at the front. Whatever. It's it's probably. Fine. What's that? One, two. What? I believe it's actually two half wedges down, but let me. Bruh. <coughs> Is it? 
No, that that can't be. Okay, it's gotta be. Bro, come on. How is that even? I actually don't know. This is um quite the predicament. Okay, well, 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 well what I'll do is I'll just start building what I know. So this is a half wedge down, and um, that's just a half block, so, and then there's one, two, three of those, two, three, um, half block wedge, and then a motor two. Wait a minute. It's on the other side. Oh, I see. It's actually a half wedge up. It's just facing this way. Big brain time. Sorry about that. I will cut that part out and bring it back to here so you guys don't even have to build that. My goodness. Okay, furthermost left is E and Q. Pause to, you know, look at the configuration. Uh, backspace and F for this motor right here and F and backspace for oh, this motor right here and then I can attach the inside of the leg which is a half block ah, this is so confusing half block, half block oh now I remember how this is, okay um, they're all half wedges up so that they don't connect to the side, but they connect to the right spot to make the foot. Okay, that should that should be right. Oh, I keep messing up my block placement. Then in here we have one that thing. Oh yeah, because that's the wings. And then what are these? Are these full blocks or ha no half blocks? Okay. This one's going to be a pretty quick one, I think. Quick tutorial, because it's quite simple in its design. How many far back does that go? One, two. Of course, uh, super rocket engines for the back. Or whatever you want, probably you can you can switch them out with jets or whatever. Uh, left shift and left control for the throttle. Pretty simple for the wings. You can always change the shape of the wings. One, is that three? I think that's a three. Is that too far back? Or is that right? One, two. One. To, no, that's right, never mind. Okay. Wing panel. One by three? That doesn't seem right. Wait a minute. I build. Oh, I remember. Okay. Put this here. And a half wedge. There we go. So that I can attach on the side wings, which go one, two, one, two.
kind of speed running this tutorial, but um, yeah, just chilling. Okay, so two control panels. Is the controls for this one, and I'm pretty sure the controls are the same, yeah, for the other one. I'm just gonna check if these are right, because I did place them probably differently than the first time. Oh, damn, it does the same thing. Huh. What the? Oh, never mind, it is, it is backwards, okay. So, just for the sake of it flying right, I gotta switch them. You know, control surfaces are pretty easy to figure out. Okay, two more control surfaces, which should be D and A. Is that, is that right? Yeah. And then, attach the legs somewhere. Where's is it right here? Is that oh no, I gotta look again to you. I don't I couldn't remember. One, two Yep, okay. Okay, let's check the configuration. This one is Q and E, so I'm gonna just run over here, put that on the leftmost one. That's probably just the opposite for the other one. Actually, no, it's probably the same because they want to rotate different directions. Whatever. Okay, now that I have that, I think I put a full block here. And. Uh, half, half wedge down here, and then a half wedge down one by two, going upwards. Then one, two, three, so half cylinder. Is it? Oh, man, it's so compact, I can't see anything. Oh, that's where the pilot seat goes. Okay. I'll just put a random normal seat just to show that's the main pilot seat. I'll make it, I'll make it red. I'll make it easier for you guys. This is the new main pilot seat. And then I'm pretty sure it's just normal blocks up here, right? There's a bit of a gap here. Um, fill it in as you wish. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's actually four helium blocks. Never mind. Four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then we'll get, what is that? Motor two, okay. That's probably facing forwards. Now this is where it gets a little bit confusing because this is the front where the all the transforming happens. It's really complicated stuff. All right. Well, kind of complicated. Is that? That doesn't seem right. Does is that right? I guess. Oh, it's it's further back. That's why. Did I build it further? Yeah, it's one block backwards. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's above the main pilot seat. Wait. One. Two. Oh. Damn, I'm just messing up all the time today. Sorry, guys. Um, this is a wedge. Over here, we have half cylinders. Three, four. And then, you know, one, two, two, three, four. There. And then I believe the two right... Up here, never mind. 
right there. How many? Three, right? One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay. Two propellers. Uh, top propeller is Q and E. Oh, wait. Copied the wrong thing. Bottom propeller. This configuration. Um, yeah, they are at a bit of a little spot there. Okay, then I'll do the wedges. Um, is that just one full block? No block? Okay. One full block. Like that. And then a half wedge. Then a half wedge down. That's just, I just made this instead of making a, a motor or wedge one by two, whatever it's called. Um, I did this just so you can color it differently. It looks better in the robot mode, in my opinion. Okay, what's under this? Is that just a half block? Half block motor. Okay, now this is where stuff gets confusing. That's the head. The head can only be one block. I couldn't really fit much in there. Backspace F. Okay, so one it has one motor here. This one, so I'll just copy that, put it here. Then I have the head right here. That should be right. Yeah. Okay, perfect. It's actually right. Why is this what is this moving? What is this rotating? I don't get it. Whatever. I, I made it, so I mean, I had to be there for a purpose. I don't know what, but, you know. Okay, left one here is going to be F and backspace. And the right one is going to be F and backspace. Wow, they're exactly the same. Well, I mean, the angles are probably different, though, because this one moves this one, and then this one doesn't move at all, so it has to move all by its own. Uh, all on its own. Proper grammar. Okay. So we're starting to see the jet here. Pretty cool. That's the wrong way. There we go. So now we got the front there. Oh, this is kind of weird. Okay, one, two, there. in a little little wedge then I'm gonna add on oh, is that just more half wedges oh okay cool beans oh got to do it on the same other side Trap door? Yes, sir. Yeah, you know, if you don't want me talking, you can always just, like, put music over this, or... I don't know, mute the video. I mean, you just need to watch it. You don't actually need to... listen to everything in the... Is that, that's not attached. How does this move, then? Oh, right, okay. Okay. F and backspace. Backspace and R. Oh, I actually have to be applying these. What am I doing? Okay, this F backspace goes to here. This top one, backspace R goes to here. Same on the other side. Just switched. There we 
we go. And then time to build the wings. How is this? How in the... What? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I just had a stroke. Holy crap. Silly me. I just forgot how I built my own build. That's that's hilarious. Half wedge up right here. Facing this way so it doesn't connect. Then I'm gonna put wings, wing time, wing time. Are they one by ones or no, one by twos. Well I might actually collide with the other one here. Just be stuck together. Glued by their wings. Who's this? Oh no. I have chat turned off. Go how the hell Oh. People join the server. Goddamn. Why are so many people Leave. <laughs> With a blacklist. God damn. <laughs> There's too many people. They're all joining at the same time. One, two, three, four, three, two. This is just, um, I think the other video I put a lot of music that didn't belong to me over it, but, you know. I credited the person, and, you know, I feel like a lot of people use that music anyways, or have used that music on YouTube. Um, it's a pretty well-known song from a pretty well-known movie, so... You know. I should probably be copying the other side. Yeah. Whoops, okay. Then we get the motor configuration, which is backspace and F. Pretty cool. And then there's two rotational uh, propellers, which are more for the robot mode, but they do work in, in, uh, vehicle mode too, which I quite like. So this one is D and A, and this one is A and D. Boom. Okay. Now I put the half wedge here, and we're going to use a invisible text 1x2. To make a text 1 by 2 invisible, I usually just put a period there, and then I make the text size 1, and you can't see anything. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool trick. A little, a little party trick. Show your friends and playing crazy. How it's done. Okay. We're going to add these on next wing basically the same it's um should be it's the same just that all the controls are reversed unless it isn't which is why i am showing the entire build process so you guys know what you're doing hopefully kind of doing this whole part off memory I think I'm doing pretty well. Uh, what do I add here? Another delta wing. Then wing panel. This one. Oh, I just realized I put on the wrong... wrong side of the wings. Okay, so the left wing 
This is the one for the left wing. Whoopsies. <laughs> okay. The motor should be on the inside there. Let's get the configuration, which is F and backspace. And then, oh wait, propellers go on this one, there's already propellers on that one. My commentary is simply amazing. It's actually insane. How amazing, I'm probably not going to do like any editing on this video, I'm, I'm burnt out from yesterday. I mean, it's like, what, 6am? Um... And I've been filming for a bit, too. I got up really early. I mean, not just, well, I usually get up early anyways. But this is nice. Just chilling. And making a tube video. Now this part, this part's confusing as heck. <laughs> I've, I've just realized I, I said hell. I s uh, I mean, it, um, I feel like I'm talking to an older audience. Not really, but you know, kids who are mature enough to know that it's okay to say hell. I think, at least once you once you get old enough, it's okay. But you know. okay, half wedge up. This way. That's that's the head, right? Yeah, I believe so. Wait, no, the head's back there. No, that is the head. Never mind. I'm. Who boy, I am tired. Oh, you know what? Okay, the head is not a full block. It's a what's it called? One times zero point nine block. So I gotta find the side that. Okay. This way. It's got to be facing this way for it to work. Use this little gap so it doesn't grab onto the motor that I'm going to put in front of it. My engineering is just genius. <laughs> this is the configuration. I swear. If more people have joined, I'm going to be angry. Okay, just one. That's that's fine. <laughs> okay. What do I add on? What is happening here? All oh, right, this is where all the stuff goes. Okay, so I put ugh, a disconnector. And another one right here. Uh, half wedge, I believe it was. It goes right here. When you spawn in, you just press G and this will fall off and it'll look better. More streamlined. And then... Another motor, of course. Of course. Copy that. Yeah. Pause the video if you need to. I am going pretty fast, so you probably will need to pause the video. I'm going to put a half block right here, which will attach to the front there, and that will become part of the robot mode. And then I'll put on that, and a pyramid wedge. Is that done? I think that's it. I think it's all done. So let's test it. Actually, you know what? I forgot something. I forgot the arms. The arms are on the back. I forgot the arms. Damn. <laughs> okay. So there's one motor here, and whoop, one motor here. So, this one has this. That's not right. Never mind. 
They're in the center. Man, I am... I am out of my league today. Okay, so the left one is this. Right one is this. Okay. Now... Uh, no, I'm stuck in the seat. Ugh, come on. Yes, I'm escaping. Okay. Whew. Jeez. Uh, one, two, okay. Then we have our nice friend, Mr. Text, one by two. Which we'll just have facing down. I'm not going to make him invisible yet, because, like, then... I can actually see what I'm doing. Um. Is that? Oh no, they're facing outwards because reasons. And then that should be. A normal block, a normal half block, I guess. Half wedge right here. And then a... Half wedge down. Oh, come on. Half wedge down. And another half block, I believe. That is. Nope, not a, not a half block. Never mind. It's actually a half wedge up because if it was a half block, it would attach to that part. There. Okay. I think it's finally done now. Oh, and also the trap door. I forgot about the trap door. The trap door is R, not F. It's R. I forgot to mention in the other video, actually, to make the roof for the bumblebee, all you have to do is um, use trapdoors, because they actually fold up really nicely when you have a full like thing of them, like a whole array of trapdoors. You can make, you can hide the roof. I'll show you, I'll probably, I'll probably make a video about transformers and like explaining everything that I know sometime. That that will take a while though. But about this tutorial, this 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 tutorial is done. So, as you can see, they move exactly the same. Um, thrust should, you know, be the, flying should be the same. Although, since my character's in this one, is actually heavier. So the other one is, like, doing its own thing right now. Can it turn properly? Okay, I think the turning is correct. But it does fly differently just because it has a person in it. That, that one doesn't. So, oh, I didn't put away the landing gear. I'm gonna put away the landing gear, we're gonna throttle down. And we're gonna press R first to swing out the arms and f unfold the trap doors. And then we're gonna press F and transform. And then we're gonna press F and then transform. <laughs> Why are the legs doing that? I know I didn't build this one wrong, what is this? That's weird. Okay. Maybe it's because I did it midair and it was facing downwards. Let me try that again. Okay. We're going to press R, then F. There we go. Okay, that, that freaked me out for a sec there. We're going to flip it. What is happening to the other one? Okay, that. What happened? <laughs> what happened? Okay, I'm gonna watch the, the this one more close, closely because that's the one I built for the tutorial. I should know how that one works. Okay, it folds out the. What? Wait a minute. Did I? Okay, I think I actually made a couple mistakes. <laughs> Sorry. 
this one should be backspace R. Yeah, okay. They're all... What? It's exactly the same build. Why isn't this working? Even sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, you know what? I think those uh, propellers are in the wrong spot. Or... Oh my... <sighs> Bro. Okay, these are not half wedges up. These are corner wedges up. Because corner, corner wedges uh, don't weld to two different sides. So I just gotta face it the right way. And so... These two sides are the edge sides, so it won't connect to anything here, and then this, this should finally work. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, I forgot to configure some block. <sighs> My brain. My, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling kind of slow today. Okay. I forgot to configure blocks, holy. I'm so sorry. This is not, this doesn't usually happen. But then again, I don't do this that much, so. It's, you know, bound to make mistakes. I'm only human. Okay, there, now. Th I should have pressed R first, but whatever. We're gonna flip them. There we go. There's, there's two, two of them, two transformers. It works, I'm happy. And you press Q and E to walk. Although that one isn't walking, you, you get the gist of it. So to transform from uh, vehicle mode to robot mode, you press R. Then you press F. Pretty simple. To change back, you press F. You, pre you press F. I pressed F. What is it? I think my game is quite laggy. Um, that's probably why. You know, it's it's hard to... My computer isn't very good, and uh, I'm trying to run this while also filming at, like, what, 50 FPS or something. <laughs> trying to make my videos higher quality than they can actually be. Okay, then you press F to change... It moves? Why isn't it changing back? Change back! <laughs> there we go. Okay. Jeez, man. You press R. You press R. And then it changes back. Okay. And if you if you have trouble with this, and uh, the arms get stuck, you just spam Q and E and wiggle the arms back in. There. Boom. Tutorial done. I. Ooh, this guy watched my video. Okay. <laughs> Tutorial done. That's that. Um, have fun with this. Hope you guys enjoyed. I, I, ugh, jeez, man. This, this one was a doozy. Okay, see ya.